Next up, Darren Elkins taking on TJ Brown. And this is a fight where I'm not bullish on either one of these guys long-term at all. I, I will be looking to fade um, both of these guys more than likely uh, in, in most UFC fights. But I do think that Darren Elkins is kind of getting to the end of the road here, guys. He was able to get the win over Tristan Connolly, um, and that was a fine win. But Cub Swanson easily cleaned him up and, and finished him via knockout. You saw the Jonathan Pierce fight, uh, you know, pretty dominant, uh, pretty bad performance there. And uh, Jonathan Pierce, a guy that maybe showed a little bit of mercy even. I'd have to go back and rewatch, but I can't believe that that fight didn't finish. He's always a bloody mess. He's always getting a lot of damage in his fights, even in the fights he wins. Uh, he tends to get a little bit of a shit kicking in the early going, and that's tough to deal with. Um, you know, we, we always love a guy like Darren Elkins who puts it on the line, but he does seem to be coming to the end of the road here at 39 years of age. Uh, we talk about the book Fightnomics right here on the shelf, guys. Fightnomics talks about how frequent knockouts become for fighters over the age of 38. And TJ Brown, he says he's been sober, um, you know, for a while in the lead up to this fight, which is good for him, in my opinion. I think he's got to do that in order to come in in his best physical conditioning. And I think if he's conditioned to fight for 15 minutes here, uh, he should win the fight. But moreover, I just think that if he's out there um, landing big shots on Darren Elkins, I think Darren is going to be wearing damage early, no pun intended. And uh, I think he's going to be bloodied up really bad. I think this could be a mercy stoppage type fight. We've also seen Darren starting to get rocked more frequently in his fights, and I'm concerned for his health. So, yeah, I would never, ever in a million years bet TJ Brown at minus 200 chalk, but I would be curious what TJ Brown by KO is, um, you know, when this fight comes around, because I think whether it's a cut stoppage uh, or whether it's a clean knockout, I think that's most likely. Darren Elkins, not a guy who wants to concede, submit, quit. Uh, or or get finished on the mat, but we've definitely seen that chin tested, uh, and we've seen a lot of damage accrue over the years. So not wishing him any harm, but just trying to report to you guys what I believe is most likely to happen, and I think that TJ Brown might end up bloodying uh, and bludgeoning a guy like Darren Elkins here, but money line side, I think you have to go with Darren Elkins, but it might be a, a tempting dog price that just doesn't come through, unfortunately. Um, we're looking at a one inch, uh, reach advantage for TJ Brown of 72 inches and a one inch height advantage for Darren Elkins, five foot 10 to just five, nine. Um, but six years younger here for TJ Brown and, you know, the betting odds are way more reflective of TJ Brown being favored than the topology votes. So I think a lot of people, uh, myself included have a soft spot in their heart for Darren Elkins, but. Uh, at 39, you know, the, the show must go on. And uh, unfortunately, you know, nobody's Benjamin Button, right? He's not aging in reverse. So he, he's as old as he'll ever be. And he's been looking pretty old in this recent fight.